Hello again, everybody. This is Joseph with a tutorial about how to read schematics. This one is referring to automotive schematic. And once you understand the basics of this, you, you can apply that theory to other schematics. As we said before, when it comes to schematics, we start from the power supply or the power source. There's a beginning and there's an end. Just like a, a book. You have a beginning to a book and the end of a book. The beginning is the power source, the end is the ground. The ground means once current flows through the circuit, it comes right back to the battery. Now, a couple of things are involved, and to try to simplify as much as possible, when it comes to switches, switches can be in one position, they could be in multi positions, in two positions, three positions. So, this is referring to the automotive to the lights the brakes and the turn signals let's try to figure it out but first let's understand the simple components of schematics now as you see over here we said with there's a b plus that b plus can be a battery that b plus can be an actual power supply source in this case it's a battery the 12 volt battery that positive of the 12 volt battery is connected to one side of a switch the switch has two possibilities it can either be to be open or can either be closed just like the switch in your house for your lights represented by when the arrow is up means that the switch is open in order for current to flow we have to close the switch that means like I drew this blue line that means this would be over here down here electronically schematically so the switch would be connected from one pole one terminal to the other terminal if we come down here we come to a node we come to two possible paths we said current can flow through a complete circuit so the current over here can flow this way represented by the arrows I put here straight down and the one to the left now this loop around means there is no connection no connection between this one and this one this means there is a connection so these two lines are connected these two lines meet these two lines do not meet these two lines do not meet these two lines do not meet these two lines do meet they are connected now taking that into consideration let's follow one the other side of the switch you have a connection to this node over here to one side of a bulb the brake bulb the other side of the brake bulb goes to a common ground let's follow the other path the other path going remember no connection here the current will flow here and it'll go to the other brake light going to ground so therefore one side of the battery goes to one side of a bulb. The same side of the battery, of the switch, through for the battery goes to another bulb. And isn't that true? When you step on the brake light, two bulbs go on, two brake lights go on at the same time. That's why you have this connection here. So keep that in mind. The headlights, right? The headlights, remember, two at a time go on. Does the schematic represent it? Let's look at the schematic. One side of B+, plus, which is not indicated here, but we understand that B+, plus when the battery is connected to one side of the switch, the other side of the switch goes to a connection that goes to one side of a bulb, a light. For this, run the headlight. And the other side, also, there's two paths. The other current can flow here to the other one. So therefore, when you close the switch, represented by this blue line, current flows in one light, goes also to the other light, to ground. Remember, two are lit at the same time. That's what the switch is doing. Two brake lights are lit at the same time, two headlights are lit at the same time. What about the turn signal? Here we have something a little different. If you notice over here, <clears throat> we do have a switch, but it goes to two terminals over here. That means that this 
switch can be either in the in the this position, the right position, or in the left position. Why is it not connected? Why don't we have a connection like we had here, like we had here? Well, because the turn signal is you want to turn one at a time, unless you're putting the hazard lights on. So turn signal, one side of the B plus when the battery goes to the side of the switch. When the switch is closed, it makes contact with this terminal of the switch to this one, to turn, to this bulb. When you flip the switch, you turn signal, let's say make a left signal, what happens? Well, you're taking this switch, you're flipping it to the other side, to the other terminal. Therefore, current flows, you're following this path, the green, to the other turn signal. Now, notice it, it doesn't say left or right. We have to use our ingenuity. We have to use our creativity or our schematic analysis. So, one over here will be for the right. One over here can be for the left or vice versa. Doesn't matter. This could, be, this could be for the left, this could be for the right. It really doesn't matter. As long as one is going on when the switch is being activated. So therefore, other side of the switch goes to a bulb. Other side of the bulb goes to ground. All these go to ground. Other side of these to complete the path. So therefore, if both lights do not come on, headlight switch, these two lights do not come on. That could tell me beside that the switch is, is faulty, not making contact, or it could tell me somewhere along this line over here, there is an open. That's common to both. If there is a break over here, this light can still be illuminated. If there is a break over here, this light can still be illuminated. Therefore, the break has to be between here and here to knock out both lights. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, Joe Electronic Schematics. And the other one is Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. I want to thank the subscribers for letting me hit 100 subscribers. I appreciate it. I hope this is being informative. Please look to my other schematics about transistors, about Ohm's Law. I appreciate your time that you're watching my, schem my schematics. And hopefully you're learning from it and being informed. Thank you so much.